Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 2.4, fifth question. Chapter is fraction and decimal of class 7 and this whole exercise is all about multiplication. So here we are solving fifth question. So if you have solved the problems from this exercise, previous questions like a 1 to 4 questions, you have learned how to multiply with a 10, 100 and 1000. You have learned how to multiply uh, uh, numbers like uh, small numbers. Now here we have to multiply, you have learned how to multiply decimal number with the whole number. The last question is all about multiplying deci decimal number with decimal number. You can see we have around 10 questions and we have to multiply them. So there is a simple one. Uh, first we are going to multiply the numbers and then later we are going to worry about the decimal points. Okay, so the first question we have here is 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.3. So here when you are multiplying decimal numbers, the simple one is just forget about the decimal, just multiply the numbers. That is, you just multiply 25 and 3. Okay, 0, 3 is nothing but 3, right? So 25, 3 is 75, right? So write down that 75 here, right? Now, how to put decimal point? You can see that for the first number, we have decimal point after, after decimal point, we have one digit. And here after decimal point, we have one digit. So 1 plus 1 will become 2. So we have to put decimal point after two digit and you have to start from the right side that is from the end of the number you have to start. So after two digits right so one two I'm going to put decimal point here and since there's a no number more so I'm going to put a zero here so it's 0 0.75. It seems like multiplying with a whole number but here is we are multiplying with the two decimal numbers so you have to just count number of decimal like uh, digits after decimal and in the final answer you have to put the decimal point from the right side that's it so let's do the second question we have 0 0.1 multiplied by 51.7 so it's like 1 multiplied by 5 once 517 which is nothing but 517 right so write down 517 now we're going to put the decimal after decimal i have one digit after decimal i have one digit so total two digits so from the right side after two digits so seven one and then i'm going to put decimal here then third question 0 0.2 multiplied by 316.8 so we'll multiply here 2 and 3168 we have to multiply the just numbers so which is equal to 6336 i'm not multiplying here i hope you all know how to multiply them now so to this number we're gonna put decimal you can see after decimal I have one digit here after decimal I have one digit here so total two digits so from right side that is six three and then put decimal so it's 63.36 so those are the first three questions so let's solve the next one fourth one 1.3 multiplied by 3.1 so this is like one po sorry 13 multiplied by 31 so when you multiply 13 and 31 you get 403 now to this 403 we have to put decimal after we you can see we have a decimal point after that we have one digit here also one digit so one plus one is two so after two digit we have to put decimal from the right side that is three zero and then put decimal fifth one 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.05 so it's like multiplying 5 and 5 remember zeros uh, like here the zeros doesn't have any value so just multiply 5 and 5 which is 25 now here we have different like after this after this decimal we have one digit after this decimal we have two digits so 2 plus 1 3 so after three digit we have to put decimal from the right side so 5 2 we have only two digits right so i'm going to put one zero here and then you put decimal and then again 0 so 0 0.025 then the next one sixth question it's 11.2 multiplied by 0 0.15 so multiply 112 and 15 when you multiply this two number we'll get 1680 so this is equal to 1680 now we want to put decimal so our decimal we have one digit our decimal we have two digits so total three digits so from right side after three digit 086 and then you put decimal 
then the next one seventh one 1.07 multiplied by 0 0.02 Right. So here when you multiply 107 and 2, it is equal to 214. So write down 214. Now if you see here, we have decimal point, we have two digit. Here decimal point, two digit. So total four digit. So from right side, after four digit, you have to put decimal. That is 4, 1, 2. Only three digits are there. So I'm going to put one zero here. So total four digits, right? Now put decimal. And again, zero. So 0 0.0214. So let me erase this. We'll start with eighth question. So eighth one, it's 10.05 multiplied by 1.05. Now multiply this number. It's a 1005 multiplied by 105. It's a very big number. It's a very huge number. It is 10. 5, 5, 2, 5. It's a very big number you will get here. It's like 1 like 5525. So 1, 0, 5, 5, 2, 5. Now let's count the numbers here. After decimal we have 2 digits. After decimal we have 2 digits. So total 4 digits. So from right side. So 5, 2, 5, 5. Put decimal here. So 10.5525. The next one, ninth question. Okay, this is also similar to the previous one. We have 101.01 .01 multiplied by 0 0.01. Now here if you observe, we are multiplying 101.01 with 1 here, which is nothing but the same zero, same number, 101.01. So 101.01, right? Now we are going to put the decimal. So here 2 digits, here 2 digits, total 4 digits. So 1 from back side, 1010. After that, you put decimal. So it's 1.0101. The last question, 100.01 multiplied by 1.1. So when you multiply these numbers, that is 1001 multiplied by 11, when you do it, we'll get here. It's again a big number. It's like 1 lakh. 10,011. Again, it's a big number. So, it's 110011. Now, let's count the numbers. Here, we have two digits. Here, we have one digit. So, total three digits. After that, we have to put decimal. So, from back side, 110. After that, you have to put decimal. So, that's it. We have done all the multiplications here. I hope it's clear how to multiply. Just multiply the numbers. After that, you apply this. After that, you put the decimal point. So in case you have further question on this, you can drop a comment and I'll try to answer it. Thank you so much for watching.